Hey guys, it's Adam coming at you again with another cologne review. This one's going to be uh, from Dolce & Gabbana, uh, one of my favorite cologne houses. Um, it's going to be actually a little bit different than the last one. I'm going to be doing two. One is Dolce & Gabbana, one Le Bataleur. And as well, I don't have the bottle, but I'm going to do um, number six in their anthology, La Moro. So uh, the bottle for number six, La Moro, looks like this as well. Only difference is the label. Um, so let's talk a little bit about... Uh, the bottle, first of all, is about as plain as they get. Um, it's you know just a plain, you know, have pretty heavy, you know, well-made glass, um, weird toothpaste-looking type cap with the ridges. Um, but it's a very good cologne, as you can see. Which one I have preference for, since I have the bottle of one and don't have the bottle of the other. I just have a sample. Um, so, I've got uh, Le Bataleur on this one, and on this arm I've got number six. So, let's talk a little bit about the anthology um, series. There's a lot of controversy uh, out there on whether or not Dolce & Gabbana made this uh, as a unisex um, collection. So, generally, I would... I would have to disagree uh, with the unisex idea. I think that number one, the marketing is obviously geared for that some bottles are for men and some bottles are for women. Uh, they have you know male models for the Bataleur and and for um, La Moreau. And um, also in terms of the scent, I can't really see uh, women wearing the Bataleur. I mean, it, it means The Bachelor, so um, it seems very geared for men. Um, but number six, I could see more women wearing as well. I could, I could see it as being more of a unisex fragrance. So that's that. So let's talk a little bit about the actual juice inside. So inside, this one is a very aquatic fragrance. When I first spray it on my arm or on my neck, I get a burst of fruit, personally. Um, and then as the fruit kind of makes way for spice, some really heavy peppery spice. I mean, not like bang spice, but, um, but definitely very spicy fragrance. Um, so it's tough to distinguish an aquatic. Um, aquatics are generally very generic, um, they don't last too long, and they pretty much, you smell one, you smell them all. But for this one actually, it's quite unique in terms of that spice note that you get, that it really makes this aquatic stand out. Um, I personally really like it. I like the fruity note on the top that gets cut by the spice, so it's not too sweet, not too spicy. And um, when I close my eyes, I think of water. I think of swimming. Um, I would wear this at the cottage. Definitely a summertime fragrance. Um, so definitely, I would say try this one out. Does get a, both of them get a little bit expensive if you're buying them straight from the department store. I think it, I think they retail for eighty-five dollars Canadian, um, which is a bit pricey. I found this one. Um, in a bargain bin for uh, 30 bucks. So at that price, it was worth it. Um, now let's talk about number six. Um, so number six, I haven't tried on as much, so I have a little bit less to say, but this one reminds me of Gucci Pour Homme 2. So if you like Gucci Pour Homme 2, I would say try this stuff out. It has the same type of calming effect. I don't know if it has the, the uh, tea uh, notes in it, but it has that same type of calming effect I get with 
Gucci Puron 2. Um, and I wore Gucci Puron 2 for a while, and um, definitely to my nose, this smells similar. Um, probably not on the outset, but on the dry down, it's quite similar. Definitely, you know, if I had to pair these two up, um, I would say number one, the Battle of War wins. Uh, the Bachelor just on the dry down. I love the dry down. It, it the pepper is subdued and the fruitiness kind of um, uh, takes a forefront. I would I would say, and it just it's like the quintessential summer fragrance for me. It's very very summery and also it lasts on my skin six to eight hours so which is pretty darn good for an aquatic for sporty fragrances so I didn't want to make this too long but that's a basic overview of my take on the Bataleur and L'Amoureux from Dolce & Gabbana um, one of my favorite fragrance houses you're gonna see a lot more reviews coming from them um, and that's about it for now. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great day. See you.